Good morning and welcome to Carvely St Wilfred's Prayers on this Tuesday the 31st of August and I hope you've all had a good bank holiday weekend and feel rested and refreshed to face the week ahead whether that's work, at home with children or, or whatever lies ahead for you. And I hope your journey with me today, what's on my heart, is the plight of refugees. Over the past few weeks, the press has drawn our attention to those migrants crossing the English Channel. And in recent days, those fleeing uh, in a fearful way the, the situation in Afghanistan. And there are currently 26 million refugees around the world, half of which are children. And I've also read a book this week about two Syrian boys who were fleeing a war zone and had to leave behind a dead father, brothers, their mother, and make that journey, terrifying journey, um, to a safe place. And the hunger they face, the homelessness, missing loved ones. And that story really struck a chord in me. And how lucky we are to have homes, not worry about food, and so I hope you will journey with me today in having them on our hearts and dedicating our prayers to them. So let us begin. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your prayers. praise. Let's have a prayer of thanksgiving. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals your infirmities. Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion. Who satisfies you with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses to his works, to the children of Israel. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forevermore. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O Lord, set our hearts on fire with a love for you now and forever. And we turn to our reading, Psalm 132. Arise, O Lord, into your resting place. O Lord, remember David and all the hardships he endured. He swore an oath to the Lord and made a vow to the mighty one of Jacob. I will not enter my house or go to my bed. I will allow no sleep to my eyes, no slumber to my eyelids, till I find a a place for the Lord, a dwelling for the mighty one of Jacob. We heard it and we came upon it in the fields of Jah. Yah, let us go into his dwelling place. Let us worship at his footstool. Arise, O Lord, and come to your resting place. You and the ark of your might. May your priests be clothed with righteousness. May your saints sing for joy. For the sake of David, your servant, do not reject your anointed one. The Lord swore an oath to David, a sure oath that he will not revoke. One of your own descendants I will place on your throne. If your sons keep my covenant and the statutes I teach them, then their sons will sit on your throne forever and ever. The Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his dwelling. This is my resting place for ever and ever. Here I will sit enthroned, for I have desired it. I will bless her with abundant provisions. Her poor will I satisfy with food. I will clothe her priests with salvation, and her saints shall ever sing for joy. 
Here I will make a horn grow for David and set up a lamp for my anointed one. I will clothe his enemies with shame, but the crown on his head shall be resplendent. Arise, O Lord, with into your resting place. Jesus, son of David, make us priestly people, clothe us in righteousness, make us fruitful, and give us hearts to shout joy in your salvation. We pray in the power of the Spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forevermore. And we turn to our New Testament reading, the healing of the blind man. They came to Bethsaida and some people brought a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. When he had spat on the man's eyes and put his hand on him, Jesus asked, do you see anything? He looked up and said, I see people. They look like trees walking around. Once more, Jesus put his hands on the man's eyes. Then his eyes were opened. His sight was restored and he saw everything clearly. Jesus sent him home saying, don't go into the village. It's amazing. Jesus always had time to reach out to those in need. And I just pray and I hope today that we can allow Jesus to open our eyes fully to see the wonders of his world and to see those around us including those who are in need of clothing, of warmth, of shelter, of love. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments, that I may see the wonder of your law. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. And we come to a song, the song of Christ's glory. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Christ Jesus was in the form of God, but he did not cling to equality with God. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in our human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And Lord, this brings us to our time of intercessions. Lord, give us compassion for the plight of the refugees who have been through horrors we can scarcely imagine, forced from their homes by conflict, persecution, disasters, such as flood and drought and extreme poverty and wars. Many will have been separated from loved ones. Many will be traumatised and grieving. Soften our hearts for their situation and help us be kind and seek justice and have mercy on their behalf. We pray for an end of wars and poverty and human rights abuses that drive desperate people to become refugees in the first place. If we cannot have compassion upon refugees, we cannot call ourselves Christians. If we do not help refugees, we cannot call ourselves the church. As it says in your word, he defends the cause of the fatherless and the widow and loves the foreigner residing among you. Give them food and clothing. God, we pray. You are a God who takes the side of the oppressed. You are the God who is close to the broken heart, hearted. You are the God who raises high the humble. We pray for refugees around the world. May we welcome them with open arms as they free, flee from danger, homeless, face homelessness and hunger. 
May we work to help to restore hope and dignity to refugees. May their needs for food and shelter and clothing and love be met. May their wounds, emotional and physical, be healed. We pray the world will hear their plight. We pray the world will have compassion. We pray the world will take action on their behalf. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we come to the collect of the day. Everlasting God, grant that we live as you have taught us in simplicity, with humility and love for the poor. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Thank you for joining me today.